Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Today I am filming a currently inked video. It is the end of May and I have some pens to show you. Some pens that I haven't shown you guys in a while or ever maybe. There is one pen that I'm unsure about if I've ever shown you. Uh, there is a video coming on it soon. It's more like a comparison video or a nib hack video, but you'll see that when it comes out. Um, excuse the blacked out fish tank. There's some algae in there, so we decided to black it out so it can die. Um, anyway, let us go switch the shot and actually go look at some pants. All right, here we have the pants that are currently inked and it's a bunch. Um, I didn't realize how many I had inked. I thought it was like six or seven, but yeah, it's a little more, which is fine. Uh, I'm gonna start with, I guess, just the two pens on top because they're actually the same type of pen. Uh, they're both Moonman M2s. They have different nibs though, so I'll just write those down. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, and we'll start with this one. This is the Moonman. And this is the newer version of the M2. Um, you can see by the grip. Um, this is a Conklin nib. A Conklin. Omniflex nib. The ink is Dymine November Rain. And this uh, pen, I will talk about this pen in a different video. Um, let me show you like the flex of it. It is a soaking wet nib right now. Um, it doesn't always keep up with the writing, but it is pretty wet. Um, yeah, that is pen number one. And I can see that you can't really see the ink color because it's so dark. Like it's so wet because it's so dark. But yeah, it is a very cool pen. Well, here is the same pen, only the older version with a clear grip um, and this one actually has a Koweiko nib on it. So I, both of the Moonman nibs were replaced, not because they're uh, bad necessarily, but because I like the nibs that are on there more now. Um, and it's just an interesting experiment, in my opinion. Koweiko, this is a double rod, um, which I love, double rod. The ink is cross. Violet and yeah, not as wet as the Omniflex um, is, I would say, uh, but that can also be due to the ink. It's different ink, but a great writer. And also, I love the way these guys look with the ink sloshing around. It's funny because so um, Cross Violet sticks to the barrel, while November Rain does not. It's really interesting to see the different ink properties there. Yeah. Those are two down, two movements down. Now, something very opposite, namely a fine nib in the form of a Pilot Kakuno. And it has the winky face. The winky. And this is Monbato's hat Pilot Kakuna. Fine nib, another purple ink, um, dye mine, Monbato hat. Uh, as you can see, it's super, super fine, super. Uh, but it has a nice feedback that I'm really, really enjoying. So, yeah, and it's good to have like. Uh, different experiences, as in different nibs inked up, I feel. All right, I love the clear one, and this is a Con 60 or Con 70. I never remember the number. It's like the biggest um, converter that Pilot does, and it fits. Then a pen I am bound to unink because um, this ink in here is so dry. And I don't, I think it's Sailor 241. And I love 
I love the Sailor inks, um, but the numbered ones are so, so dry uh, that I have to like keep priming um, the nib. Uh, but now, like, the piston is all, I can't push it up further. Like, it's just at the end of it. So I can't actually do that anymore. It's supposed to be eco. This is a bra nib. And um, the ink is Sailor. I believe it was 241. Um, and it's a lovely, lovely ink, but it's so dry. So this one is going to get uninked, and yeah, it's kind of a shame, but it's just not my cup of tea. Like you can see, like whenever I prime, it looks great, and then um, after like a page, I can see it go dry. Like you can see the color change on the pa page, it's not fun. Um, this pen though, I love this color, the Jade Eco, it's gorgeous. All right. On to the next, and that is a pocket pen. This is a Sailor 21K pocket pen. I believe this one is from the 60s, and this has a zoom nib, and it's fun. This has been inked for a while. Um, Sailor pocket pen. As you can see, I can use this unposted, which is kind of silly. Um, and it, it's fine posted or unposted to me. Pocket pen, 21 Okay, zoom, nib, and so of all the pocket pens I've tried, this is my favorite. I love it so much. Like, high downstrokes, low downstrokes, high, low. It is so fun to write with this pen. Um, so yeah, review is coming soon. I love it. All right. Then the pen that you've seen before, I did a video on this, um, well not on this particular one, but on the other one I had, it was replaced by Franklin Kristoff, which made me really happy. Uh, I switched the nibs on this, so I had a broad cursive italic in this, and now I put a fine cursive italic in this. This dries out a little bit, so I wonder if it's going to start, um, I don't know if it's the ink or uh, the nib. So Franklin... Kristoff. Oh, I think there needs to be an A there. Can I check that? Yeah, it needs to be an A there. Franklin Kristoff, 55. As you can see, this nib is kind of dried out right now. I haven't used it in a couple days. I think it's this particular nib. My broad cursive italic did not do it. Um, fine cursive italic. And then the ink is Lamy Dark Lilac. Like when you keep writing with it, just it does keep going. Um, you just gotta write with it a little bit, and then it is fine. It's a fun nib. It's still kind of um, hard to write with. Uh, this one doesn't have as much variation as the broad, um, but it still does have some variation. Yeah is cool. I like it a lot. Uh, and I love this finish so much. It is so cute. Two more pens to go. One is just a steady uh, pen in my collection that I always have inked up. Uh, used to be my grill pen and then I got it. James bought it for me, to be honest. It is the Ruby Red Pelican M600. And it's always inked up and always with the same ink. And that is Dark Lilac. Um, as you can see, so this is like Dark Lilac ate, uh, dried up a little bit and this is like just the, the way the color should be, <laughs> honestly. This is a medium nib. And then Lamy Dark Lilac. And it's cool. I love it so much. Both the ink and the pen are my favorites. They're hot. All right, we're going to the last one. And the last one is my first Pelican I ever got. And that is this old style M200 
which is also a lovely, lovely pen. This is like the old marbled version. It has the nib sticker still on there. I think I paid like $45 for it. Uh, medium. Uh, chicks are kind of not visible because they're old. And um, I did do a, like a switch on this pen. Namely, I switched this nib with a gold nib. And this is also a medium pelican nib. This is the broadest and wettest pelican nib I have ever used. And it was my first experience with the pelican gold nibs. And it is one of my favorites. Like, I wish all my experiences with pelican nibs were like this. They are not, uh, sadly. Pelican M200. And then um, 14K nib. It's, it's a 400 nib, M400 nib. And then um, this ink is Dymine Arctic Blue, which is normally a shimmer ink, but um, I did not shake the bottle at all. So there's basically no shimmer in this pen right now. I did that because I love the base color of this ink so much um, that I just, wanted that inked up in a pen. Um, I didn't want to deal with the shimmer, not really. So the base color is like this turquoise blue, but it has this red sheen and it's a really good sheener. So that's why I did that. You guys know I love some sheen. But yeah, this is my first pelican ever. It's still really, still really cool. And that, er, that is all the pens I have inked. Um, I think two of them are going to be in inked or nib changed and that is these two because this one isn't flowing well and this one, it, the ink is just too dry. Um, so those are the projects and then um, this I might try to write dry and then the others are just staying in rotation for a little bit. But yeah, let me get them all on the page for you. There they are. It's a different bunch this week. Pins that you either haven't seen in a long time or pins that you've never seen. Um, I don't think I've ever really talked about the Moon Man M2, but I will soon. Um, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Always fun to do these. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.